We are in Scottsmore, Florida. This is Kennebrew Daily Garden. And this is the garden of John, John, and Margie Kennebrew. John Jr. is going to join us in a moment and give us the highlights of the garden and a lot of commentary. And we have got some beautiful flowers we're going to look at. Okay, we're now joined by John Kennebrew, that's John Jr. And John, you going to share some information about these wonderful flowers today for us? Absolutely. We'll uh, give you as much as we can, we can give in a relative sense. Uh, this uh, flower we're looking at now is going to be a next year introduction. It's been a garden named American Idol, if we can get that name, that's what we're going to name it. It'll be in the catalog next year. Um, the cross on it is uh, our Space Coast Rebel Yell by Jerry Nettles. It's a dark red with a ruffled gold edge. Okay, this is uh, I Wanna. Piranha. This is this year's uh, cover flower. It is a ragamuffin Mort Morris by Jeff Salter's Cosmic Sensation. Uh, it's a I call it a coral rose with white and gold teeth. Uh, also uh, to be noted is the great plant habit and the great scapes it puts up. Um, once again, this year's cover flower. I want a piranha. John, who are we looking at here? Uh, this one is uh, a sibling to I Want a Piranha. Uh, once again, it's uh, Forest Lake Ragamuffin by Mort Morris by Jeff Salter's Cosmic Sensation. This one has more of a, a white silvery fringe on the sepals and the petals. Uh, it's got a good scape. This one is uh, going to be named I believe Randy Stevens. It's going to be uh, a next year's intro. Sibling to I Want a Piranha. Okay, we're looking at uh, another of what's going to be next year's intros. Um, this flower is uh, from Jeff Salter's Coquina Key by another Jeff Salter, Fall Frolic. It's got uh, somewhat of a rose eye zone, and it's got sculpting. Uh, we like it very much. Sometimes the sculpted flowers have a hard time opening up, but this one opens up consistently. And it's a different look for uh, sculpted flowers. I don't have a name for you yet, but uh, this one will be a next year intro. Okay, we're looking at a, another next year intro right now. This is an Alexa Catherine ceiling by a Jerry Nettles Surprise Purple. Uh, it's got a little bit deeper color than Alexa Catherine and I think a little bit better plant habit, but maintains the big gold edge. Uh, this will be definitely a next year 
intro. Okay, we're looking at yet another uh, of what's going to be next year's intros. This is a sibling to this year's introduction, which is a Space Coast Behavior Pattern. This is a uh, Space Coast Seashells by Jeff Salters, Lighter Than Air. Uh, this one is unique because it has the, uh, the seashells throat pattern, but also picks up some uh, sculpting, which is something that is uh, somewhat new and that we haven't seen both characteristics in one flower yet until now. Uh, this will be a next year's introduction. We're now looking at, uh, this is just a, a second year select ceiling, but I feel confident that it will eventually be a, a name variety for us. It's about a three, uh, two and a half to three inch flower. This is from Madeline Nettles Eyes across a Shiner ceiling. Uh, just really love it. I've not seen uh, such distinction in a, in a very tiny bloom. Uh, these scapes are actually uh, getting close to bloomed out. A couple of weeks ago it was even more dramatic than it is now, but it's still putting on quite a show. It'll be a future uh, probably a couple years away though. Okay, we're now looking at uh, one of this year's current introductions. Um, this is Space Coast Behavior Pattern. Uh, it is a Space Coast Seashells by Jeff Salter's Lighter Than Air. And there's a whole series of these, but uh, this was the this year's current introduction. We're looking at another future intro. This one will come out next year. Uh, this is a miniature. Uh, we don't do a whole lot of miniatures, but this one uh, has a tiny perfection background, but yet a different color. It's a very sophisticated bloom, a uh, nice gold edge, and I think very unique in, uh, in, in a tetraploid miniature flower. Um, this one will likely be named Christina Cook. Next year's introduction. Uh, we're now looking at a previous intro. This is Paula Nettles. This was last year's uh, cover flower. Uh, it's got somewhat of a different color, but uh, the standout uh, quality in this flower is the big, big kind of chartreuse toothy edge. Paula Nettles. Uh, this has given, believe it or not, some really good reds with gold edges for us. Paula Nettles. We're now looking at uh, Space Coast Gwen Denny. This was also a last year's introduction. Uh, it's a big flower. It's a, kind of a copper red with a ruffled gold edge. Space Coast Gwen Denny. Shows a little bit of sculpting if you look closely. Okay, we're looking at now what's going to be a next year's introduction. This is uh, Space Coast Rebel Yell by Bob Carr's Pure Indulgence. Uh, F2 cross, a second generation of that cross. Uh, it's a, a bright blood red with a nice ruffled uh, little bit of a gold edge. We really like the color of this flower. It's got a really tall, strong scape, and this is going to be a next year intro.